Chief Mark Lorenzen to address you on the Maria fire. Uh, thank you and good evening. At about 6.15 p.m. tonight, the Maria started in the area of South Mountain. Uh, that fire was uh, quickly spread by east winds uh, and it is currently at approximately 5,000 acres. We have over 400 firefighting personnel on the fire right now and it is moving in a, a southwesterly direction to the 118 uh, Los Angeles Avenue corridor and over towards uh, the west. The one message I really want to get out there is to the public that's watching this at night. The fire seems very large and very close at night. I just want to assure you that right now the fire is still north of 118 or LA Avenue. Uh, that is our goal and intention is to keep it there. We are actively engaged in structure protection as well as protecting the agricultural assets there with the avocado and citrus orchards that have significant values too. Uh, before I turn it over to our sheriff, I would just like to thank all of our cooperators, uh, especially Cal Fire who we are in unified command with on this, and the California Office of Emergency Service that provided us with pre-positioned resources, and again, our neighbors to the south, LA County, LA City, that send resources so quickly, and all of the allied agencies around here. So thank you with that, I'll turn it over to the sheriff. Good evening, I'm Bill Ayub, Sheriff of Ventura County. Uh, at this time on the Maria Fire, we have about 100 deputy sheriffs and volunteers involved with evacuations and providing perimeter security as well as road closures. There are about 1,800 structures threatened and about 7,500 people under evacuation orders at this time. The evacuation area uh, geography uh, includes to the north, South Mountain Road, to the west, Los Angeles Avenue, to the east, Balcom Canyon Road, and to the south, State Route 118. We currently have one shelter open for those evacuated. That's at the Camarillo Community Center. It's located at 1605 Burnley Street in Camarillo. Large animal evacuations are, are welcome at the Ventura County Fairgrounds and at the Earl Warren Showgrounds in Santa Barbara County. Small animals are welcome at the Ventura County Animal Shelter located at the Camarillo Airport. Road closures at this time are dynamic and changing based on fire behavior and first responder needs. I would encourage those interested in road closures as well as current evacuation information and other information related to shelters to visit vcemergency.com for real-time updated information. Earlier this evening, our firefighting aerial uh, efforts were hampered by someone flying an unmanned aerial system in the area. That's a small drone, apparently uh, looking at uh, photography of the fire. Um, this created a, quite, quite a dangerous situation. It's not only illegal, but it, it hampers our firefighting efforts. So uh, please, anyone in the area with a desire to do such a thing, refrain from doing so. Let us get our airborne assets in to fight the fire and create a safe environment for everybody. Thank you. Good evening, I'm John McNeil with the Ventura County Fire Department. I am uh, one of the uh, incident commanders of the Maria incident, uh, along with uh, CAL FIRE. It, we're in unified command with CAL FIRE. And what I wanted to tell you is, we had a fire that started on South Mountain. South Mountain's a, uh, a ridge system that runs east-west between the communities of uh, Somas and Santa Paula. And by the start of the location, it's provided two situations for us. One, it started high on the ridge, and what that did is it uh, provided us time to get into the communities and, and start our evacuations. What I mean by time is when it starts high on the ridge top like that, it takes a bit of time to, to creep down uh, the mountain. The second uh, uh, issue that, that actually caused was it's, we've got access issues getting to the actual edges of the fire. So, at this time, our efforts are evacuations, getting close into the structures, providing structure defense uh, where we can. Uh, second to that will be perimeter control when we can get up in there. I also want to assure you that this is not the Thomas fire. Because of the location and because of the, the, the weather forecasted for our current uh, weather and what we have forecasted for the next 12 to 24 hours. So 
based on the location, it's eventually going to run out of fuel. And what I mean by fuel, it's a combustible growth, uh, the, uh, the brush, the grasses. We're looking at maybe 12,000 acres at the biggest footprint on this. So on the weather side, we do have the east winds continuing to blow. Uh, we have forecasts that uh, those will subside in the next uh, 10 to 12 hours. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to call the sheriff back up if any of you have any questions.